For the PF4 minus Lewis structure, let's count up the valence electrons. Phosphorus has five, and fluorine has seven, but we have four fluorines, so we'll multiply that by four. And don't forget our negative sign up here. That means we have an additional valence electron. So we have five plus 28, that's 33, plus one, 34 total valence electrons for the PF4 minus Lewis structure. We'll start by putting the phosphorus atom in the center of our structure. It is the least electronegative atom, and it goes in the center. There is our phosphorus. And then we'll put fluorines around the phosphorus. We have 34 total valence electrons for PF4 minus. So let's put electrons between the atoms to form the chemical bonds. Now we'll go around and complete the octets on the fluorine atoms. When we do that, everything has an octet. However, there's a problem here. We've only used 32 valence electrons. We have a total of 34 valence electrons. So we have two extra valence electrons that we have to put somewhere. Turns out phosphorus can have more than eight valence electrons. It is an exception, or it can be an exception, to the octet rule. So we can put those remaining two valence electrons on that central phosphorus atom, and that'll complete this Lewis structure. So let's put them right here at an angle. So now that central phosphorus does have 10 valence electrons, but that's okay. If we calculate the formal charges, we'll see that everything works out. We will have a negative charge on that central phosphorus, which makes sense because PF4 is a negative molecule. It is an ion. One last thing, since this is a negative ion, we should put brackets around the entire Lewis structure to show that it is a negative ion. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for PF4 minus, and thanks for watching.